It's going to be quite a special treat. I, I, I know you guys will get to see it, but I wish you could be here to see it in person because it may be the most sacrilegious <laughs> cigar thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'll never forget it. Zach. Zach. <laughs> yes. You got Let's go. You Hey guys, I'm Jeff. I'm Darla's brother, Ben. And I'm Charlie. And we are Bourbon in Balls, and we are here tonight on location at the 7070 Social Club in Springboro, Ohio. And we have with us tonight, Zach and Alex. Um, guys, you wanna sit and talk about a little bit about yourself? Absolutely, so as we were introduced, my name is Zach, this is my good man, Alex, here, and we are um, the gentleman behind the 7070 Social Club. As long and along with a few people that aren't here with us tonight. But what we do here is we have a selection of whiskeys, um, Canadian, Tennessee, etc., scotch um, that we offer, as well as uh, about 1,300 cigars. We are also going to be offering some light food, charcuterie, um, tea sandwiches, and shrimp cocktail, um, and a few other things. So I think what's what unique about you guys, because we've been to other cigar bars, maybe not um, interview-wise, but... Uh, um, they just don't offer both, right? Because you can right. do bring your own bourbon, stuff like that. But you guys are in a, in a pretty unique position where you guys will actually offer up uh, both uh, uh, whiskeys and cigars. So which I think that's kind of neat. Correct. Oh, yeah. Yes. So we are obviously, so we're more of a lounge. So we, we do offer um, different variations of alcohol inside. The, the cigars um, are to be, be partaken with on the back patio. Um, that will be covered, obviously, um, keep you out of the elements, but um, higher rules and regulations, that's kind of what we have to do. Yeah. yeah, and then one thing I'll notice, you guys will notice on the back end of this episode, um, we just got done shooting that, is um, I never knew there was a world of cigar pairings. I mean, I heard about it, yada, yada, but uh, I was pretty amazed as far as uh, what, the, what the whiskeys tasted like beforehand and then what the whiskey tasted like after you uh, uh, took a... Um, Draw. Well, the, the neat thing for me was um, we got to try bourbons that we've had several times yes. before um, by themselves, and the amount that it changes that taste when you do your dram and draw, um, and it's it's pretty incredible how it can turn a bottle that you already thought was hey this is pretty good or hey this is so so to when you have it with that cigar that it really opens your eyes of holy crap this is this is pretty damn good i, I yeah, could absolutely. i could have another one of these absolutely. so it that was awesome it, it definitely enhances the flavors on, on both ends oh yeah i think the cigar yeah. and and the bourbon for sure so and, tell people out there as far as what are your uh where are you guys located at what are your hours so we are located at 140 south main street in historical springboro um our hours are going to be tuesday through saturday um, playing with hours a little bit, but we're looking probably around noon to midnight um, throughout the week. Nice. And oh. and not to be play spoiler or anything, but mm -hmm. we during our tasting uh, and our pairing, and, and like I said, I'm not going to break break the news right now, but you'll be surprised because we were as well. Yes. <laughs> uh, what we picked to be the favorite of the three, and it went up against some pretty pretty big dogs, and uh, just the pairing of the cigar and getting the different flavors. Um, it, it was a surprising result. And, it, and it's, also, it's also a reminder that you don't have to go out and pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for good bourbon. I mean, I know that there is such a, a stigma about what people think of, well, if you want good bourbon, you better spend at least X amount of money. I mean, that's just, we saw today, again, that's just not the case. You, you can great, find great bourbon for a really affordable price. Absolutely. So the what we want to appeal to is kind of every price point as far as like, um, whether it be a beverage or, or cigars, we have every different type of entry point, price points, um, so you don't have to, you know, empty your savings to come out and sure. have oh, a nice yeah. pairing. Um, you know, obviously we do have some higher end selections as well, but um, not completely necessary to, to do for sure. Um, one of the benefits about coming here, uh, a lot of different cigar lounges usually charge a membership fee. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as you stated earlier, that uh, there are no fees. Uh, it's no tier or anything like that. Everybody's welcome. Yep, absolutely. So, yeah, everybody's welcome to come hang out. Um, we try to make this as a, a inviting, welcome environment as possible. Um, very comfortable, I feel like. Um, 
yeah, so there are no membership fees. Come, everybody. Welcome, yeah. men, women, children, everybody. <laughs> and Jeff, like you said, when we entered yeah. here, like it gives us, it gives this place like kind of a um, speakeasy. Yes, like a yeah. speakeasy yeah. kind like of, a, almost like a jazz club feel yes. when you come in. It's it's, yeah. it's very warm. It's a little darker. It's got yeah. the comfy furniture. Yeah. It, it's cool. That the bar is absolutely incredible i i am absolutely obsessed with it i i want one for my house now i'm not sure my wife's gonna be too thrilled <laughs> about that idea but you let me know yeah, please yeah. for sure yeah. <laughs> but but it is it's it's cool like all the furniture when you come in it's it's not generic stuff it's it's Especially stuff that was bar. yeah i mean yeah. everything right. is just hand-picked to be this very cool relaxing setting that honestly I, i've been to a lot of different places for for bourbon lounges or cigar lounges this is just, it's, it's unique. And right. that's, that's what makes it so special in my and, opinion. And, and I, you saying that actually means a lot to me. <laughs> it means, no, it means I mean, a lot, man, because this is, um, it's wild to kind of see that vision that you have in your head and it comes to life. And luckily with the help of so many people um, here in the community, um, you know, from our contractor to the gentleman who built the bar, um, you know, we were able to, to make it happen. So I imagine, you know, shout out to the city of Springboro for letting this happen. This, the city of yeah. Springboro, absolutely huge shout out. Um, Weather Vane Woodworks, Brett, you are absolutely amazing. Uh, Nathan at Willow Creek um, did so much for us, helped us with the design. Um, just so, so, so many wonderful people. The business owners of this town have been so supportive. The community has been supportive. Um, I could not imagine opening a business anywhere else. Okay. Well, so, yeah. On the on that side, as far as you talk about your vision, I mean, what what actually brought you to do something Man. like this? You, you know, <laughs> it's 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 funny. Obviously, the hobby. Um, so I've always been a um, I don't know what you call, call like a foodie. Um, I love I love I love the hospitality industry. Um, I grew up in it. Um, it's just always been something that's been near and dear to my heart, and I knew honestly when when the time to come. So we had a couple of things that we wanted to do in mind, um, but I was always drawn to doing something like this, something a little different, a little more unique, like especially to the area. Cause like Ben was saying, it, it, it is a little different. I mean, obviously I'm not saying we pioneered anything here, but um, as far as what we did, I, 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 I love the vision and I love, I love what we've been able to accomplish. Uh, so somebody, somebody who works in the hospitality industry mm -hmm. as well. Um, I, I'm very particular when I go to go to a place. If if I go into a place and it seems too generic or it seems yeah. you know almost yeah. cheap or just yeah. kind of thrown together, uh, I'm probably one of those people that's too quick to judge a, a business before they really get a chance to yeah. to show me what they're all about. That was the opposite of what I got here. I mean this this is so cool. I, I've always thought you know man it'd be so cool to have a place like this. And and really like Charlie said, you can find either a bourbon lounge or mm -hmm. you can find a cigar lounge yes. and when you want both of those, you yeah, know, you're, you're, you're bringing, that. you're bringing your own of something. And right. it's kind of nice to have that person take care of that where you yeah. don't have to think, all right, I'm going to a cigar lounge. Okay. That's great. What well, the hell am I going to bring right. you a drink? Right. Because right. yeah, I, right. I don't know what I'm going to want. And I may not know, like I, sh like we talked about earlier and you guys will see soon is, okay, great. I'm going to smoke a cigar. Yeah. What's going to go with this? And I'm right. sure you guys are going to be great at saying, Hey, like you guys already were, Hey, here's what we'd recommend. Here's what yeah. goes well with this, or here's different options. And this is great. It kind of, it takes that pressure of trying to figure out, okay, what the heck do I really want to do? And just says, Hey, relax. Yeah. Right. Have a great time. Enjoy, enjoy yourself. Yeah. Yourself. yeah. Right. Enjoy it, yourself. Let us take exactly. care of you. Sit back, relax, drink, smoke, eat on something Thanks. and have a good time. And that's at the end of the day, that's what people really want. They don't want to have to make that fun. Hey, right. make yeah. this right. Fun. Yeah. And, and, for, and for us too, is it, it is so you can go to some places and, and it might get a little stuffy. Um, for us, it is, there is no wrong um, way to do it. Right. Sure. So you can, you can come here and nobody's going to, you know, if you want, um, you know, if you want your Travel. bourbon with ice, if you want the right, if you want to, if you want to rip the end off a cigar, have at it. It's yours. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll see that later on too. Yeah. It's, uh... off the cigar, do what you want. Um, come here and it just, as long as you enjoy it, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. 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 And if so, you if you want to destroy a cigar and act like you've never had one before, <laughs> only a close knit of friends are going to make fun of you exactly. behind closed doors. Yep. So, like price range wise, what are we talking as far as what uh, customers are, could expect? Okay, so obviously, as as far as um, you know, beverages goes, I mean, you know, we'll have pours anywhere from you know six dollars to you know 
on up. Right, sure, so sure. Nothing crazy. You don't have to, again, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. As far as cigars go, obviously, um, you know, we have entry-level cigars starting around around $8, $9. Okay. Um, but we have some options that go up to, you know, $50 on the cigar. Okay. But you can have a nice evening for 20 bucks. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, yeah. Do, do they have to buy a cigar here, or can they bring in their own? What no, was your preference? No, then? you, you I, I would love it if people patronize um you know either us or another cigar lounge that's close by as long as you're getting your cigars from a from a, a cigar lounge and supporting a business yeah. you're more than welcome to come on our patio and, and, and light up. yeah we just want everyone to have a good time yep yeah yep. and and that we did tonight and uh i was i, I wouldn't say i was skeptic it's just i don't I didn't know enough about cigar I, I am a one what you call a 101 person like meaning that I am intro to 101 uh, cigar. You you guys will see that later on in the episode as far as how 101 I am. Uh, but for people like me, there's plenty of us out there. Mm -hmm. You're going to have your aficionados that you know. Like Jeff yeah. is one. Bob, the one of the co-founders of the show, he is a very big yeah, uh, aficionado of this. Uh, ben, you know a little bit more than you know the average person. So yeah. um, those people you definitely will attract. Mm -hmm. But I think what's really going to get you guys over the hump or for people like me that yep. know jack shit about it. Yeah. And I I had a great time on just experimenting as far as the flavor, just the uh, whiskey, and then have a draw, and then the whiskey. Yeah. And then it makes it so much more complex. Yeah. Which Breaks is pretty amazing because I'm having the same exact whiskey. Yeah. So, and, and, who, totally and who would have guessed that our 101 guy would be the guy who went through two cigars tonight? So that's pretty special in itself. Well, he went. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll see. He went, yeah, he went through. He went one, through two. Yeah. I'm not sure how much he smoked. But. Yeah. And, and, if you, and if you do come back here you know, at a later date, you will see a shadow box with that cigar. Uh, and we even put a picture in there, too. And then we're going to have him sign it. It's going to be on the show. It's going to be quite a special treat. I. I, I know you guys will get to see it, but I wish you could be here to see it in person because it may be the most sacrilegious <laughs> cigar thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'll never forget it. It was fantastic. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are outside, out back on what's going to be the future patio. Uh, we got some cigars and some uh, whiskey and bourbon here we're going to sip on and we're going to walk us through on the process of you know, pairing these cigars. Yep. Yep. So, uh, what we've got here is we've got, um, a Connecticut, uh, and a Maduro. So we're going to draw straws, I guess on. So what real quick, before we get yeah. too much farther, cause I, I'm an idiot. You're okay. already, already confused. Yes. So what is a Connecticut? <laughs> what is a Maduro? So a Connecticut is typically obviously just a lighter shade of cigar. I like um, how he says obviously. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> it's because that's and then the, uh, the cigars 101. <laughs> Dude, I don't know any of my cigars. <laughs> well, and that's okay. All right. Thank that's you okay. very much. It's perfectly fine. And then um, the Maduro is a, a darker cover, color, um, usually a little more for full flavor than a okay. Connecticut is. Does it have anything to do with how they're uh, wrapped? Yes. Oh, there you go. See, look at that. <laughs> Lucky guess. I know. Yes. All right. Well, uh, what do you want? What do you want us to do? So you, you I guess let's let's. Get yeah, it. I'm a one on one guy. Say, yep, I'd say you go with the Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, you might. Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you? <laughs> you, you what do you guys prefer? I'll go Connecticut Maduro. Either one. I'm Maduro, I'm a Maduro guy. I'll do a Connecticut. Maduro. Maduro. Right. Connecticut. I, yeah, I need one of you guys though to have a, a Maduro. So yeah, one yeah, of you guys has to have a Maduro. Jeff's got to have a Maduro. Jeff, he, he, well, I'll, do, I'll do Connecticut. No, you're more uh, aficionado. Uh, do you want the? You want okay. the either one? Okay, <laughs> doesn't matter me. Doesn't matter me. I'm either way, Mocha Mocha. Might try it. So this okay. is the Jamie Garcia. Yeah, that's made by my father. My father. Um, yep, this is a uh, catch father. twenty-two. My, my father. father. Um, <laughs> you listening? This is catch catch twenty-two. Those are made by Rocky Patel. Yeah, Rocky Patel is one of my favorite. Off. Yeah, it's cigars. Great. Just yeah. the tip. Um, I like the um, my father's too, but. Um, between the drone and somebody help this man over here, please. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I've had so many Connecticuts. What are you doing? So, hold on. yeah, I am holding on. What are you doing? So, they're a little lighter. No, no. so oh, yeah, we you definitely need money. You guys. <laughs> do, you, do you want a punch? Yeah, that's too much like for him. Yeah. <laughs> that's, You're about to have <laughs> a really <laughs> bad experience. When you get that right that's on. the other thing with, with cigars. Why don't, you, why don't you go ahead and show the chop job you just did over here? 
is, you are not all right. Enjoy the cigar very much. Yeah. Well, what's going to happen? Too much? No, no, you're great. Can you teach me how to do the punch? Because yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you you all right, so hold the, your mind. <laughs> draw the off camera for a minute. The the, the punch is my favorite. Yes. Um, yeah. So all right. So what you want to do? I, I can show yeah, you. Go ahead. Yeah. Finger please. your finger your stick. But, well, you know what? It still right, looks so, better than what just happened to Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen roadkill look better than that. <laughs> finger I, wait till you I put that in your mouth. So. You see all the things flaking off. That's all what right, happened. It's so, in your mouth. But the punch literally you just stick it in. Oh, okay. Pull it out. Well. <laughs> just oh, then what, what is this for? No, typically, it's what do you mean? Right what is it? Right, you so. just did it wrong. <laughs> Thank so, you so much. Yeah, no problem. And then the cool thing is this outcome oh, the other side, and there's yeah, the rest of the up, rest sure. your cigar. This is what happens when we I don't read directions. We are probably going to have to get you another cigar. Yeah, I, you're definitely. Do not, <laughs> I, I, hold on, <laughs> put that in your okay, mouth. All right, we're going to take a break. We're right back. <laughs> we are back again with a, yeah, new take a little break for Charlie. Yes. <laughs> My bad. User error. <laughs> so, All right, so now what? So All now right. uh, you got a lighter. So well, yeah. well, well, we got Charlie Punch now. Yes. So that's yes, that's the most important yeah. thing. Go ahead and just take this away from him. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't need anything there. <laughs> All right. So. No, God, just put it down. I just want to put it down. There. There. Yeah. All right. So. Fire. Happy Fourth of July. Yes. All right. So. Shit. Yeah. Just so, so just like Jeff is doing, this is perfect. So literally, you're just gonna toast the end. Talk this up. Mm-hmm. I, am, I can't wait to see yours on fire. Ooh, that is alone. Why aren't you all putting it in your mouth? We will. We, um, she said. <laughs> That's common. Common thing that uh, I think it helps hold the flavor. You know, I never. I never like, had that. Why, why not? Why not? Too fast. We'll lose the flavor of it. Oh, right. I'll mm-hmm. fall. Yeah, you don't want to get them too hot. Mm. And smoke that slow. Keep Dude, the flavor in as well. I think you and I eventually should have our own cigar show. It's talking to me. Two that's dumb nice. fucks, and then it'll and be us. dumb and dumber. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, so um, as Jeff as Jeff has done over here, he's doing a phenomenal job. But you obviously want to make sure that you're you're lighting even as well, so it burns even as you're smoking it. If you see it going up on one side, you want to go to the other correct. side to get it. See, look, I know stuff too. What what happened? I went listen. Oh, Jesus Christ! As you're lighting, you want to make sure obviously that you are. Um, you're lighting evenly. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, it's 22. We're going to put we're gonna, we're gonna keep this. I'm going to put this in a frame. <laughs> put it next to your first dollar, please. Alex, you got it? Yeah. First, first destroyed right. cigar, first dollar. So they perfect. Charlie, you owe there him you a dollar. Give that to him. Oh, so while we're thinking about uh, prices and we're doing all this, what are, what are these things run usually here at your shop? So we have a wide variety. Um, okay, so, what, uh, so range wise, what are we talking? Range wise, we're talking anywhere between probably nine dollars okay. a, a, a cigar all the way up to fifty dollars. Okay, so oh wow, wide range. So we don't let you cut the yeah. fifty dollars. <laughs> no. That's why they're not out here. Yeah, and, and, and the same with the same with the, with the whiskey too. You know, obviously we have more affordable whiskeys and you know um, a little more high end whiskeys than than others. So we try to appeal to to everybody's price point. Is it still on? No, it no. turned off now. Oh. Takes a couple seconds to turn off. <laughs> I don't mind. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's good. What Perfect. are you doing? What? Can I do it first so I can at least smoke while you do this? Oh, not that way. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's, actually, he's got it. He's doing good. Yeah. He just okay. lit himself on fire. No, I didn't. Oh, no. That's probably good. Yeah. Stop, drop, and roll, my friend. <laughs> oh, watch yeah. out. Well, that still stays it? on. Yeah, it just it keeps going for a second. I know. I I I I don't know. So after, yeah, it keeps going for a second. So be careful as you're. I need to get relit as you're lighting there. Yeah, you need to light as you as you. Hey, yeah, that'll go for about five seconds. I would pull that back just a little bit. There you go. Come on now. There you go. Perfect. There you go. And obviously, if you guys want to keep it blow out. Um, every once in a while, too, if you want to keep it going, if you have to set it down, if you blow out, it'll get rid of some of those ash, too. So, um, if you have to relight it, obviously make it taste better. I like this one. Is it's that like, nice? This one's good. That's nice. Mm-hmm. I do, I do enjoy Catch that. Catch 22. Catch 22. That's Rocky Patel. Yeah, that's nice. Wild. All right. Here we go. So, what, what, what do you do whenever, or what would cause what they call canoeing uh-huh. on a cigar? Is it, is it, I've heard different theories about it. You got to rotate the rotate cigar. Them. Yeah. Or, could just be that maybe you wrap too wrap, tight. Wraps too tight or a rotation. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got this lit up. No, Facebook. So what are, what are we uh, tasting here to kind of figure out what's going on with this All cigar? Right, so what we've got here is we've got three different pairings. So 
what I'd recommend is it, it, it either way. So what I like to do is take a little draw and then, then give it a sip. Strong do we know what these is or are these blinded? They're blinded. blinded. They're blinded. All right, all right. Ooh, that's delicious. Number one first. You Whatever one you want to do, Bobby. Uh, all day. Hmm. Did we have a, uh, do we have a guess over there? Huh? Damn. See, to me, that makes, with this, it makes the one feel like it's a lower proof to me. Correct. This like is like a, a bourbon. This is like a 90 proof. For, if, yeah. I had a guess. <clears throat> Do you know what they are? No, I'm going to say it's a 90 proofer. Wow. Well, Jeff, what do you, what do you, what do you think with, with, like uh, with the Maduro? What do you think of that? It, it, does, it does take the heat out of it. Mm -hmm. it okay. Does. All right. Um, oh, uh, for whatever reason, nice. it gives us a really sweet, sweet taste. Uh, yeah. I don't know what it is, but okay. you, for, I'm not it's a lot sweeter. What about you, Alex? What you, what you got there, babe? I, I like it. I think the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Makes it feel a lot smoother. Smoother? Okay. Th oh. This would be a pairing that I would do on a hot day. Mm -hmm. Such as right now? Like now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me explain because my issue yesterday, I was having a cigar and I was drinking Booker's with it. And oh, not yeah, good. I thought I was, okay. Well, no, it was good. Really? But I thought I was going to die because I was doing I was doing a darker cigar yeah. with a heavy, with heavy. heavy, higher proof bourbon. Right. And I was sitting outside in the middle of July, yeah. and yeah. I, I thought my life was out. Do mm. Now do it. But yeah, you're here. See, and I see, and like I <laughs> Thank personally God. enjoy watching you a, smoke a, a cigar, a Maduro, a darker cigar with. All right, I need a, with every. Yeah. This is my first time pairing cigars with yeah. you. Drink, so this is, definitely this is, the difference. All right. Jesus. Oh, there it is. Not on. And I, what and I, I like to do is I like to there you go. Yeah. Get a good get in there. nose yeah. on first, just, and then. With the cigar, and, you kind of my salon. and then you go and then obviously so you 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 took a you took a puff of the cigar right mm -hmm. then you then you had a drink of of your bourbon right? right so and then go back and forth so then you know maybe try a sip of your bourbon and then you know a puff of the cigar and see if that if yeah. that if that profile changes a little bit. I always take care of my guys, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How often do you? you say, how many cigars a year would you say you smoke? A year. Well, you, may want to, you might want to spread, spread out that range. Number two is, uh, to me is a, a lot. Well, how many tastings do I have a year? Uh-huh. One. No, I have four tastings a year. It's uh, so four <laughs> things I never get invited to. Four times a year, yes. All right. Actually, you know what? I think I was invited to the last one. Let's move on to number two. Wow, that, doing that the mm -hmm. opposite way, you get a lot different flavors out of the cigar, too. Right. I like that bourbon more. Number two, yeah, it's got a lot. It seems like a higher proof. Yeah, which is right. A preference which, for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is more flavorful. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. Exactly what I was thinking. Uh, like even I'm, after I hit the cigar, I'm going back. Like I'll put a trace. Good. See, I get yeah. Be a blends in here and actually taste good. Mm. <laughs> Don't you feel like the dumbest boy? <laughs> what? There's a blends? Mm -hmm. Might be. If you're like, this is so good, because I don't like blends at all. You say that. I, I, I knew that. I've heard that you didn't like Blanton's. I don't. Is so, it in here? <clears throat> there is no Blanton's ah, for, okay. for that reason, because I, I didn't right. know how, that you didn't. How many of these are so. from Buffalo Trace? Technically, two. Two, two of them are. Technically, I, don't I like stuff. that. Yeah. Okay. The first one, I think, that definitely is. The first one? Oh, yeah. Man. Okay. <clears throat> Am I right? I'm, I'm, I'll, I don't I'll really know what it is. It. I just want no, to know. The first one is not. I'm going to take a shot and say this is... And I, and I love this bourbon. I, it smells like Eagle Rare to me. Ooh, so close. So close? So close. See, I don't get the, the vanilla of the Eagle Rare on this. I don't on get the that. On number three? Oh, shit. I can't. <laughs> I, never, I, can't I will tell you I that number uh, number three is a, uh, is a bonded. It's what? Taylor. A bonded. Bonded. Bonded? Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> Bottled and bonded. Correct. Am I the fucking Twilight Zone right now? <laughs> Which one is number three? Number three. Bonded. <laughs> and it's Buffalo Trace. See, and what's product. funny to me, it, it, what's funny to me Trace is um, you know that's bonded. number number Only three. <clears throat> number three doesn't do it for me even a little bit with with, with the cigar that I know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Wow. <clears throat> that I'm name getting another, a, name another one. All of E.H. Taylor except for like a okay, but name another one. one. Yeah, like all the, all your typical bourbon. You got nineties. You got nineties. Right. Barrel proof. Going for 
except for uh, benchmark. He did say technically, which would make it make me think it's something that's not traditionally thought of as a buffalo trace. This third one's too heavy for me. Third one's too heavy. The yeah. hundred proof bourbon is too. No, heavy. like it's too thick <laughs> with the freaking cigar. You. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, number three is not doing much for me. I couldn't agree more. Here, you want to swap real quick? Up. And then you have me have it. Then yet. get you. I like a, Connecticut uh, with one. Okay. Two is my favorite. I like two. I feel like the Connecticut yeah, goes eight, well two. with three. Why don't you just copy yeah. everything oh, damn, I said? That is good. Wow. Yeah, no, I know, right? Got, that is what good. You want to try a Maduro with the. Uh, yeah, not you want to do a little, yeah. little Tracy's? Mm. This is very vanilla. Yeah, I like to, that one. Again, compared to his, from mm -hmm. the going for the Maduro. <laughs> I might like the Connecticut. More. They're both shrimp. good. <laughs> oh, I like this. So, yeah. so what do we have here, bourbon wise? So, number one is just a Maker's 46. Okay. Okay. Number two <laughs> is a Benchmark Foolproof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. And I'm number three is uh, E.H. Taylor. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. we, Dude, we know our shit. We know <laughs> so, so, don't know anything about cigars. We'll tell you the hell. So once concerned. again, going back, looking at, over our other shows and how we rated things, Benchmark makes some pretty solid Dude. stuff. It is a One, very. I do wonder though how we would do without cigars. I don't think it'd go in the same order. Well, what I think I, yeah. the cigars uh, made the big. What, I think it's, I think the cigar made a bit different. I think I think it does. But what I thought was interesting it was is um, uh, yeah single barrel yeah. though. I have a foolproof at home. I'll we'll, we'll try that. Yeah, yeah. I'm impressed with it. I'm, 20, I, and usually bucks. I like to hover around that hunter proof range. Okay. Um, but with this i just really thought that that this was much better yeah so i thought it was funny because me and him both have maduros and you guys have connecticut's and outside of alex we all pick the same thing yeah. sure so sure. a lot of times with that'll change with 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 different right flavor profile you're picking well I, I tell you what it, it's like i'm about to go down a rabbit hole now i'm gonna start doing this stuff and uh yeah. it's gonna be very interesting very yeah, fun to it, do it's kind of like wine i i my wife drinks wine and, yeah and okay. i went down a rabbit hole with her we go to these wine tastings and we try different cheeses okay and, oh, okay yeah. and it's just in chocolates yeah, yeah, and you, you go. It, makes a it opens up that you flavor do. a lot. Yeah, it, it does. You know, I I think in a Maduro actually goes real nice with the with the red. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. All right, All right. well, it was great. But hey, the most important part is right. Once we got over the hump, yeah. we had a great time. Oh, fuck yeah. We got yeah. a cigar. Yeah, lit, and it yeah, was I had fun. Exactly, that's and that's all. And, and again, that is all that matters. And I can't express that enough. Like if if you, you come in here, look to have a good time. You're going to have a good time. Experience level does not matter. No, no, right. no. Just come hang out and smoke a cigar and drink some bourbon or whiskey or scotch, whatever you're right. into. And have, a, have a glass of wine, whatever. And I'll speak on behalf of you guys here, so hopefully this isn't out too far out of line. If you guys are so, no, so new, maybe you've smoked one cigar, maybe you've smoked zero. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, I can tell you these guys can, can take care of you. I mean, they have been top-notch with their hospitality with making us feel welcome here. Yeah. And if you want to come in and say, hey, I've, I've never really smoked a cigar or I've smoked it, but I don't know what the hell I was doing, show yeah. me. I can tell you guys they are going to they're going to take good care of you. This yeah. has been awesome. I can't wait for the opening because I promise you I will be here. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, you're drinking your bourbon or your whiskey. You know, there's an art to it yeah. you know, on how to pick out flavors and, and, and notes of the cigar of the, of the bourbon that you're drinking. It's the same kind of thing with a cigar. You can pick out those notes and you can figure out and try and how to pair your own when you're not here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And two, for me, the best part about it is, is even like a novice cigar smoker or whiskey drinker can, you know, obviously you can, you can take a drink of this and, and say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm picking up this or I'm picking up that. Even a novice can take a, take a drag of the cigar and go back to the whiskey and, and yeah. pick up the difference. Pick up the difference. Yeah, yeah. it's a noticeable change. Yeah, sure. Oh, it, it is. I, 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 I've had the, the, what we're sipping on right now, I've had this by itself before and it's a great pour i love it i, I would drink it anytime anytime i get a chance to and when i hit that draw and then i took a drink it was i, I mean it truly turned into a completely different bourbon it and it was it was such a cool experience I, i've smoked cigars and i've drank before but i've never really known what i was looking for and you guys explained that more and it was really cool to kind of see okay this is this is really a, a whole another way of getting to experience it and it really changed my whole idea of how to smoke a cigar and, and drink bourbon right. at the same time. It's, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Don't invite Charlie to ever take care of that for <laughs> you because you're you're gonna need some help afterwards. All right. All right. And then, you know, just on another note, I mean, we, we talked about this earlier about, you know, the, the different kind of events you may have, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the, there could be some cigar tastings, some bourbon yes. tastings, yeah. those kind of things. Derby, Derby events. events. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's not just a come in and smoke a drink, 
you no. have other events. Yeah, so we're going to have some other events for sure. Um, we have a lot of great businesses that we typically plan on teaming up with here in historical Springboro. Um, and yeah, just be on the lookout for that. Follow us at facebook.com, the dot com, the web. The, yeah, web. The, w- w- <laughs> the World Wide Web is yeah. where you'll find them. On the World Wide on the line. Of web. Yeah. On the line. On, on the yes, line. Absolutely. Yeah. Check out um, the pictures. It's yeah. it's incredible. It's, a, it's very cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Get on Netscape. Like it's <laughs> yeah, whatever. <that's> cool. <laughs> Make sure you're connected on AOL. Wait till you're not on the web phone. Dial, up. <laughs> dial in. <laughs> You'll be blown away by the results. Exactly. Uh, yeah, and, and we'll look forward to coming back here. Uh, well, again, oh, we're 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 oh for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And things like you guys stuck with us for a while. At this we appreciate point. you, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you, guys. All right, until next time, I'm Charlie, I'm Ben, and I'm Jeff, and Zach, and Alex. Thank uh, you. We'll catch you next time. See ya. Cheers, Cheers, guys. All right, bye. <laughs> Just so. <laughs> I know that's. Hold on. <laughs> Dude, Look you- at the hack job. I mean, this is just the most. There are people in Nicaragua crying over what you've done to this. It looks like someone cut some tips somebody's I mean, I'm not kidding. It looks like someone's like, I didn't have a cutter. Fuck it. And cut the fucking top off. <laughs> Let's grab me. You can get you a jackass. Hold on. Do me a favor. Please. What? I hope this doesn't have to be on the show. What? Do we light this? Before you get a new one. Okay, let's oh, light it. Okay. I, don't put it next to my face. I'll get I'll let I'll do it. 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 I am waiting to see you just don't you know, you gotta see it. it I want to see how long the flame is. Don't be near it's, it. It's, it's long. That's too close. Too close. It, I'm right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was waiting Let's for. Let's get a new one. Let's get a new one. Let's get a new one. So there we go. Okay. Look how much better that looks. All right. When, when you use those uh, guillotine styles, yeah. you just want to shave the end just off. The, I told Look, you. Uh, yeah. So the I literally told you. Hold on, hold on. Let's I bring us back in first. first. I said, <laughs> <we're> just, <laughs> I said, with I said <laughs> just a tip. Leave that on there. Hold on. Just a tip, just a second. I just want that feels. to be. Yeah, let that, put that on display. Yeah. 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 Right <laughs> there. Jeez. Will you quit? Hold it for so you can see. I could have given this to my nine year old and seen him do a better job than that. <laughs> Jesus. In his defense. In his defense. In his defense. Though I will give them that well, it hasn't actually, been lubed up. These are bad. It hasn't these been lubed bad. up. How much more lube do you want? Are, that? That's yeah. Those are all right. Never mind. I was trying to help fault. you out, bro. <laughs> all right, Jeff, bring us back in. All right, well, I can see it in your oh, eyes. Wait. So there was a previous episode <laughs> where he met this guy virtually, mind you, named Zach. I've never met him, but he has been to my home. He was there when my wife and kids were there, but I wasn't there. I haven't told you that part. Oh, yeah. I've still never met him, but he's been to my home. There's going to be little Zach's running around about nine months. You <laughs> <guys are good. laughs> Listen, we're already going to have a problem if she's pregnant because I've had a vasectomy. It so <laughs> doesn't matter who the littles are, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> You know what? Bring, bring us all the way back in. I'm right. Darla's no, brother, Ben. No. Uh, <laughs> you don't want me to say that? Yeah. Yes, all the way back in. All right. All right. Take 15. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do this. Hey, guys, I'm Jeff. I'm Darla's brother, Ben. And I'm Charlie. <laughs> and we are here at... Uh, I screwed that one up. All right. <laughs> Why did you... Here we go. <laughs> you piece of shit. I'm back. Here we go. Zach. Zach. All right. All right, here we go. Take 20. Right.